गणना गणपति किं भवा मे कवि कवी नवश्रवस्तम ज्येष्ठराज ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मणस्पदान शिण्वन्नोदिभिषेद साधन ओं महागणपत नम सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा स्थापका धर्म से सर्वधर्मस्वरूपिणे अवतार वरिष्ठा रामकृष्णय ते नम सर्वंगलमे शिव सर्वाधि शरण्ये त्र्यंबके गौरी नारायणी नमस्ते आपदापहर्ता दातासंपदा लोकाभिराम श्रीराम भुय भुय नमाम्यहम कृष्णाय वासुदेवाय हर ये परमात्म प्रदेशनाशा गोविंदय नमो नम गोविंदय नमो नम गोविंदय नमो नम नम सभा सभापति इवे ई समय नारायण सर्वास्वरूप सकल नमस्कार मलया संसा वाली प्रयास अंग्लिश संसा आवश्यक आवश्यम I do not know what I will talk. My knowledge is nil. I have been a wandering monk, so I have not read much. But whatever I know, I will share it with you. Today, I will talk to you about the first shloka, Pratham shloka. आद्य श्लोक ऑफ श्रीमद भागवत श्रीमद भागवत इट इज टेक्स्ट फॉर ऑल डिवोटीज ऑफ द लॉर्ड इट कंटेन्स द्वैत इट कंटेन्स अद्वैत वॉट एवर यू टॉक एवरीथिंग इज गिवन द इट इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट बुक्स आई हैव एवर कम अक्रॉस माय I studied so many books, but I have never come to my Bhagavata because my father always used to say, "Pandita Nam Pariksha." Hey, it is a very tough book, and if you want to test a pandit, you ask him questions on Bhagavata. So, and the first verse of Bhagavata contains the entire summary of the Bhagavata. what it contains and its message the entire message which is contained in the 12 skandhas of bhagavata it is contained in the first shloka in almost all the granthas the old granthas there is the way in the first shloka it will be hidden you will not know exactly and दर्शन मधुसूदन सरस्वती इज अ ग्रेट पर्सन ही हेज रिटन ए फुल बुक ऑन प्रथम श्लोक ऑफ श्रीमद भागवत इट इज सच ए ग्रेट श्लोक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज भागवत बिकॉज आई टोल द फर्स्ट श्लोक देन पीपल शुड नो वट इज भागवत Just got two meanings. Bhagavata idam semat Bhagavatam. It contains everything about Bhagwan, how he has put us in this samsara, 
how he has made us entangled in the coils of samsara, how to get out of it. What are the easy ways for a person who is a householder, who is engaged in various problems, who has got very little time for spirituality. How can he come out? So, Bhagavata, it differs from all the other Ganthas, Ramayana, Mahabharata, and it is shouldered above all those texts for only one reason. Ramayana is a story told by Valmiki. Bhagavata is not a story. Then what is it? When Vyasa was in depression, Vyasa Maharshi, one of the greatest of Maharshis, he tried his level best to improve the world. The world was in trouble. The world was in distress. Dukhi. So how to remove the Dukha of so many people? In the olden days, there is only one big volume of Vedas. There were no four Vedas like Rig Veda, Ejur Veda, Athar Veda, Sam Veda. He says, no. Then he said, one Veda is too big for anybody. That is why people don't go near it. They are afraid of it. So he divided them into four. Rig Veda, Ajur Veda and all that. He waited. Years passed, centuries passed. The world remained like that. In all that activities tainted by papas. He didn't know what to do. Then, she said, the entire contents of the Vedas I will put in one book in the form of stories. He wrote what is called the Mahabharata. Originally, Mahabharata was a small book which he wrote. It was called the Jaya. Tato Jaya Mudiri, after thinking of Ganesha, Saraswati and all that, we should read that. Jaya was the name. People added shlokas. Finally, it became one lakh. And then it was called Mahabharata. This is one of the best of the books. But he found, and not only that, Vedas are prohibited for certain categories of people, say for instance ladies and all that. So he said, I will give the contents in short, in a capsule form, that everybody can read. And he found Mahabharata was again big enough, nobody read it. Kept it, they purchased it, kept it in the shelf, daily put to flowers, Om Yasayama, they went away. That's all. Nobody read it. She was sorry, my lord. I have done what all I can for the world, but world is not improving. The world is going on its path, a path full of papa. So how to correct them? See, yeah, Maharshi, such sages, they don't have, say, a single family, but the entire world was the Deva Kutumbakam, the entire world was their family. So they are worried only about them. And at that time Narada came and told, Oh Vyasa, this is Kali Yuga. If you write about Dharma and all that, nobody can understand. Talk about the leelas of God, how the God has come among us, and just like men, He has played with us the various leelas of Lord Krishna, the various leelas of the Lord. That is what is required. <clears throat> so, he said, okay. But then he said, I don't remember the leelas. I am a very old man. He was several thousands of years old. Yes, in his time, Krishna was born. Krishna went away to his dhamma. 
But he doesn't remember the details now. I can't remember the details of what happened three years back. So many people come and say, Swamiji, we met year before last year. I don't remember. Or my life. So, he was several thousands of years old. His memory was bad. The Narada told, Samadhina samsvara cheshtitam tat. You go into Samadhi state, you can see everything, the past, present and future. Like a TV, it will come before you. In the TV, you put forward, it will go forward. You rewind it, it will go backward. So like that in Samadhi, you put it, you rewind it, it will go backwards and see, see and then you write. That is why the bhasha, the language of Bhagavata, it is not ordinary Sanskrit. It contains deep meanings which you and I cannot understand easily. That is why many, many people have written Vyakyas. Not only Sridhara, one Jiva Goswami, who is a great person, one of the uh, one of the Shishyas of the Shishya of Mahaprabhu Chaitanya and Vallabhacharya who has founded a religion, a, a Mata called Shuddha Advaita and one Vishwanath Chakravarti. All great people have written Vyakyas with meanings which we cannot have thought of. And I will come to it later how the meanings are special. Before that, I won't tell you what is the speciality of Bhagavata compared to Ramayana, compared to Mahabharata, compared to all the other texts in the world. Krishna told his purpose was over. All the various asuras have been killed. He had done and he has shown people how to run a kingdom by being in Dwaraka. Now he thought, it is time he go, goes back to Vaikuntha. He has no more work to be done. He calls Uddhava, his mantri, his favorite, his friend, Sakha. He calls him, Uddhava, my work in this world is over. I am going to leave my body and go to Vaikuntha. Uddhava was shocked. He could talk for a few minutes. What? What Bhagavan is telling? That he is going to leave the body. He says, Bhakta to Dirvat Katam Stasyanti Bhutale. You see, people have been worshipping your Divya Mangala Vigraha, the beautiful picture of Guru Hairapan. You have seen how beautiful he is. And they were making dhyana, they were immersed in it. They have made dhyana lot of progress in that. Suddenly if they find that God is dead, his body is lying there, they will not remain for one moment. Katam sthasyanti bhutale. How will they remain here? Tetshanti nija pran. They will leave off their body also. They will all commit suicide and their papa will be on you. Ah. Please have a second thought. Krishna thought, yes. What shall I do? Then, Tirodhaya Pravishtoyam Sakshat Bhagavatarnavim Saishahi Vangmai Shakti Pratyaksham Vartate Hare The Lord said, I will remain here in Pratyaksha Rupa. Everybody will be able to see whoever reads Bhagavata. Bhagavata is a is just like an ocean. He entered into every shloka, pade pade, and in every word, he put his shakti, his vani shakti, the shakti of enunciation, the shakti of talking to people, conversing, communicating. That vani shakti, in that form, he entered into it. 
and how pratyaksham vartate are she shakti can be seen you just read the bhagavata once and see what it does for you that is it. it is it is it is a divine in that sense it has got an immediate effect sadya parati immediate phala you will get it just read it once with bhakti not in that way reading one shloka hey the bell is ringing find out who is ring who is there uh, hey who is who is there who is talking bhagavata is gone that's not the way you read it with all your tanmandan you read with ekagra chitta let heavens fall let the town have an earthquake but your mind should be on that anything any sadhana for god when you do it let not your mind go elsewhere now hearing a satsang is a big sadhana supposing now your minister enters and is going forward with the mala then all the eyes will be turned the poor lecturer will be going on talking shanta and the will be talking only the walls will hear and i said all who is that who oh, means sir hey minister ha ah, yeah minister ha give me a chat oh that's all all the i have turned it i have seen it several times no let heavens fall let anybody come let god himself enter but you read it he will enter through this in your heart he only enters here so that is the only way and we have to do it so this is the speciality in nowhere in ramayana it says the god rama has entered into every world nowhere in bhagavad bharam mahabharata it says the god has entered into every world this is one grantha and what is the second one this is the only grantha in the world which says within 7 days you start today and do as you say simply hear the bhagavata with all interest within 7 days you can get moksha this is the only grantha which can say i was telling this for 15 years in my vasishta guha in the himalayas every year my guru's birthday is a precedent by a bhagavata saptah i used to do it in those days no no it's about 10 years i can't do it in that day in those days one villager came to me swami ji you have been telling for the last 10 years that in 7 days one will get moksha i have heard your 15 uh, bhagavata saptah i don't think i am anywhere near moksha so how is it i told look here there is a condition which is implied in this if you are like parikshit leaving off everything and solely only hearing bhagavata and if i am like sukadeva leaving everything like avadhuta and always thinking of bhagwan and becoming bhagwan yourself then within 7 days to the extent i am less to the extent you are less it will be expected <laughs> this seven days you can get moksha nowhere it is told yes the condition is ekagra chitta not only that there is difference between hearing and hearing one gentleman is hearing and he is worried about his cell phone he has forgotten it whether it is in the house how he has lost it he is worried about it sitting here he is only thinking of cell phone that is more important than the wife and another gentleman sitting here nicely he is thinking of his grandson in california he has not talked in the last sunday every sunday he talks what is the matter that boy he has got some chronic sore throat these people don't bother so he'll be going on thinking of it his mind is not here his body is here that is why gokarna is doing bhagavata saptah there were 200 people or 300 people hearing on the 
seventh day when everything was over, there is a Vimana which came. It was a helicopter with single seat. And his brother who was there in the, in the form of a ghost, he takes a Divya Rupa because of hearing the Bhagavata and he is taken there. Gokarna horse the pilot. Hey, one minute. Look here. 200 people had for 7 days. Either it have sent 200 helicopters or one airbus for 200 passengers. How is it that you are taking only that one man? He said, Swamin, there is difference between hearing and hearing. Here, many of them, they heard. They went home. They asked their wives. And the Ganga is somewhere. So, Krishna has gone and Ganga is somewhere. Ganga has occupied his mind. Now, within 15 minutes, within half an hour, he will not think of it till next day evening. Whoever thinks of the lecture afterwards. And here is a ghost which was night and day doing manana. Whatever it heard in the day, in the night. Oh, what did he say? Nama Sankirtanam Yasya Sarva Baba Pradasana ah, ah. It is very simple. You go on doing the Nama Svarana. So, like that he was doing manana. Bringing back to mind whatever he heard from that. How many of you did it? None of you did it. There is one Parashar Shastri in Vrindavan. He does very good Bhagavata. I knew him well. I went to his house. Night, 9.30 it was. His wife came and whispered something in his ears. It was very loud. She said, Our son is not sleeping. Come and talk to him so he can sleep. He asked, What shall I talk? To make him sleep. Everybody says, When you tell Bhagavatam, 10,000 people go to sleep and you can't make your son go to sleep. <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> this is how we hear Bhagavatam. So, when you do it in the proper manner, it is assured that everybody will get. Why? A curse can be safer. You will die in 10 days. You will die in one month. You will die in 45 days. What is the seven in between? You will die in seven days? Will anybody will uh, give you an arithmetic like uh, you will die by Kachaka, Tachaka and been bitten by him on this after seven days? All of us have to die within seven days. Either on a Sunday or in a Monday or on a Tuesday or on a Wednesday or in a Shukravar or in Shaniwar. That's all. Only seven days. You don't have more than seven days. So, that is why it is written. The idea behind it is, it is not that it is exactly seven days. You may die in any day in this period, either Monday or Tuesday or Tuesday. It is one of the seven days. So, be careful. From your Kaumara, start thinking of God. Don't say, Are, re, why now we serve Bhagavatam? I, when I have 78, I will start Bhagavatam. Nothing but Bhagavatam. And when you are 65, you get arthritis and you get spondylosis. I cannot read, I cannot hold the book. So what happened to Bhagavatam? So start as early as possible in your life. We are little daily. You need not read for two hours. Half an hour, 15 minutes. Some two shlokas. It will do a lot. So that is the glory of Bhagavatam. And so the first shloka of Bhagavatam starts. Janma Dyasya Yatonvaya Ditarata Charte Shabhigya Swarati Tene Brahmakrita Yadi Kavaye Mukhyantiyatsuryam Tejo Vari Mridam Yata Vinimayam Tejo Vari Mridam Yata Vinimayam Eh? Ah. 
ಮೃಷಾಂ ಸದಾ ನಿರಸ್ತೋಕಂ ಸತ್ಯಂ ಪರಂ ಧೀಮಹಿ ಎಗೈನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಾಲಿಟಿ ಇಫ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ರೈಸ್ ಗಣೇಶ ಪುರಾಣ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ವೋಕೇಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಗಣೇಶ ಇಫ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ರೈಸ್ ದೇವಿ ಭಾಗವತ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅನ್ ಇನ್ವೋಕೇಶನ್ ಟು ದೇವಿ ಇಫ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ರೈಸ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ವೋಕೇಶನ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟು ರಾಮ ಸೊ ಭಾಗವತ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ವೋಕೇಶನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಟು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ನೈದರ್ ಟು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ರಾಮ not to any particular god satyam param dhimahi that final absolute truth the the ultimate reality the para brahman and that is advaita so this book is an advaita book it starts in the first shloka itself by saying satyam param dhimahi the supreme truth the absolute truth the absolute reality so i am bowing so that is the a beginning of it then there is a beauty in that starting janma adyasya yatah the if you ask a christian what is the what is the text religious text on which your entire religion is based he will say bible the testament the new testament if you ask us we'll be in trouble one man will say garuda purana one man will say vai purana one man will say ramayana nobody knows for us the ultimate truth has been explained in all the upanishads so there are 10 upanishads the principal upanishad isha kena kata prashna taitariya aitariya then bhridhanindaka chandogya mundaka mandukya this are all the ten in this the entire tattva what is moksha what is god how to approach him how to get him in full detail is been explained but no upanishad is a repetition but the idea is the same the same thing is explained in various ways beautifully different ways but when you read it you find you do not know about whom it talks it doesn't say i am talking about ram it doesn't say i am talking about anybody so who is the ultimate reality about which it talks you do not know and secondly there are so many contradictions one obrishan says akasha came from akasha something else came samadhi akasha advayu vayo ragni agne rapa adya prithivi prithivya utha deha it gives a different thing so the water came from the water the earth came but something else talks when the same upanishad this two upanishads when they talk of same thing but in contradictory terms we do not know what to accept so for doing a samanvaya and to tell you it is not about prakriti it is not about anything other than the supreme lord whom we call the para brahma he is alone talked about in all the upanishads this is being established in the brahma sutra known as badrayana sutra written by vyasa this is the first bible we have got the first bible is rather the upanishads the second bible is that commentary on that and giving harmony to all how they all do not talk about different things about only one thing so that is ensured by that so and what is the third one i let me tell you we have got three bibles the operations all the principal operations then we will say brahma sutra by vyasa and then even though bhagavad gita is not a shruti it is not a smriti but we have given them a status equal to a smriti 
It is deemed Smriti. There are universities which are not proper universities, but we call them deemed universities. The University Grants Commission has accepted they are deemed universities. I don't know now. Long back when I was there, Mr. Bharati University in Calcutta, which was founded by Rabindranath Tagore, it was not a proper university, but it was called a deemed university. All the privileges to university were accorded. Similarly, Gita was given a special position. The Lord Himself has summarized the entire Vedas and Upanishads. Where Upanishads are, are considered like cows, and the milk is this Bhagavad Gita. So, in that Brahma Sutra, the first four sutras are very important. Now, Brahma Sutra means it is a college for learning about the ultimate reality for Brahman. So you go there to your college, you find what are the courses available, B.Sc, M.Sc, B.Sc Botany, B.Sc Biology. Now, a young man from after passing his C.B.Sc, he doesn't know what is natural history, what is biology, certain words he doesn't know, he has to be explained. So it is written there in this college, we will talk about Brahman. Atato Brahma Jignasa. That is how the Brahma Sutra begins. Now we are in this college. There is a three years course. We are going to talk only about Brahman. But there are two words, Atha, Ataha. What does it mean, Ataha? It is not simple. Ataha represents when you go to college for joining in B.Sc. it is written. A person is eligible to apply for B.Sc. and with the following qualifications only. He should have passed intermediate of any of the Pakka universities. All these things will be given. Similarly, this is gives the qualification. Ataha sadhana chatushtaya prapti anantaram. To come back to this class, you should have first got all these qualifications. Viveka, Vairagya, then Shat Sampati. It is again six, six items of qualification. Dhamma, Shama, um, Titiksha, Shraddha, Ityadi. Then lastly, Mamukshutva. That desire to get God, that alone is sufficient. If you want to get God, if you want to get from this samsara, night and day, Prabhu, I want to get out of it. Get that Mokshitva. Mokshitva means Moksha se Asha Moksha. That I want, I want to come face to face with that Lord. I don't want any more bus. I want to be with Him. I want to be one with Him. So, Make it tivra, tivra tara, tivra tama. Intense, more intense, most intense. You make it. That alone will bring you God. So, mukshita do last, its importance is far greater. So, unless you get all these qualifications, when are you going to get viveka? That will take so many years. And then you get vairagya. I don't know whether three, four janmas will be sufficient. To get Vairagya with one cigarette, it will take more than one janma. Then to get rid of coffee, it will take another janma. When will you leave all these things and then come to the class? You will be a hundred years old by that time. It is very difficult. And Vyasa wanted to start with it. Here also in Bhagavatam. But Bhagavata, he wanted to have a college and publish it to all so that everybody should know, should come and study. So he wanted the college to be handled by an efficient principal, a man who can understand Bhagavatam and explain it very well and prepare students who can understand equally well. 
It's not so easy to understand Bhagavata. So, Sukadeva, his son, is the best person. But he won't come. He has already gone somewhere and being Parabha, he says, Amramasmi. He's, he doesn't say, he's absorbed, Atma, Rama. He's only thing I am the Brahman. He's one with the Brahman. That's all. He's, li- he's lying in that sense. He's not aware of the world. How to bring him? He thought of a plan. For two of his teachers, he taught them two of the best shlokas from Bhagavata. And he sent them there where, in the forest where Sugadeva is doing tapasya. He told, hey, go there. In his presence, in Uchaswara, you tell these two shlokas several times. He will immediately ask you, hey, these are beautiful slogans. Who has written it? You simply say, there is a Maharshi called Vyasa. He has written it. There is a way to make him come. The two shlokas are, the one is very good. Ahobakiyam patakalakutam There is one Rakshasi called the Putana. She was a child specialist. She will only kill children. So, she came to kill Krishna and then gave him stanapana of poison, Vishnam, like Kalakuta, like Halahala, which will immediately act. The Lord said, no, whatever it is, her motive, she has done an action which only a mother does or a nurse does. So I have to give her that loka. Dhatrichitam. Yeah, Dhatri means a nurse. So what sort of thing I will give her? I will give her that. She gave her that. What a Kripalu. Can you get anywhere? Kamva Kripalum Saranam Vrajema. Is there anybody more compassionate? God whom I can take surrender to. He is the best. So and the other shloka was a description of the Lord. Krishna is coming after taking the cows for grazing. In the evening he is coming back. It is the description is given, people are seeing. Barhapidam Natavarabhu Karnayo Karnikaram Bibrat Vasam Kanaka Kapisam Vajayanti Injamalam. Ah. He is wearing the Vajayanti Mala and he is wearing that one small white flower called Karnapura here. And he is keeping one small feather from a peacock here. Barhapidam Natavaravapu. He looks like an actor while coming. So that sort of beauty. beauty. So he is entering Gita Kirti. The people are all praising his glories. He enters Vrindavana. These two shlokas, they go and sing. And the moment he hears it, Sukadeva is alert. He says, hey, come here. In from which book you are telling this? They said, there is one Vyasa. He has written a beautiful book called Srimad Bhagavata. These are only two of the small shlokas. Like this, thousands are there. Huh? He runs his, to his house. The father says, Come on. I am not bothered. Come on, come on. Where is that book? Which book? You are Bhagavata. I want to see it. He gives him the book. He doesn't see anywhere. He is absorbed fully morning to night and he finishes he says Sabash beautiful book for that but there is only one thing what are you going to do he says I am starting a school I want you to be the overall principal I will be on one condition you have started with Atato Brahma Jikyasa where the qualifications are given 
you should first have viveka then have vairagya then have shak sampati no fears bhagavata should be obtainable accessible to everybody from a small child to an absolute rustic a villager who doesn't know to read and write all these people can join the class and hear bhagavatam so take away these qualifications he took away the qualification he started from the second one janmadyasetha what does it mean now in those prospectus they will give bsc natural science what do you mean natural science they will say in natural science we deal with this with this with this with this so similarly there are many people who don't know what is brahman they will think it is something like gulab jamun available in the market no so anybody who is joining the college first will say this seems to be good but what do you teach what is the brahman for so many years you are going to teach he says how to explain you see there are two ways of explaining explaining with some external factors explaining with his intrinsic inward qualities now somebody comes and asks this swami ashishanand ji maharaj who is he that somebody says you see that the gentleman who is sitting with that kavi uh, colored uh, this thing and all that oh this is nice he has seen but now he can't disturb him he goes away then he comes at night 9 o'clock when he goes to sleep he has kept a kavi gown there is no shirt there is no this thing he says he is not a sir sanji maharaj so that external he he told that person who is that ishananda with all the external things whatever he was wearing so he can change it at any time so it held good only at that time not two hours later and this is called tarasta lakshana ya lakshana ya definition you give with reference to some external thing i simply ask which is the house of mr sangeet kumar you see that the crow is sitting oh very good he goes away he comes in the evening the crow is sitting in another house he goes that sangeet kumar is there are she is in another house so that held good only at that time and this crow was an external thing which can change with this what you gave held good only for that time so similarly this is called tatasarakshana who is brahman how to explain to him he says janma adyasyata you see this word who created it this entire world is remaining for hundreds and thousands of years who is maintaining it and one day a big flood comes ya pralaya all go away who had done it that's god yes that is called the brahman he did all these things so it is with reference the world outside how long will you see the world the day you begin to see the god there is no world the world is gone so it is a temporary lakshana with reference to something external which held good only for that time till you are an agyani so this is called the tarasta lakshana janma adya seta the entire bhagavata is a summary of the entire upanishads so in taitri upanishad there is a full description eto va imani bhuta nijayante ye najata nijivanti yasmin priyant abhisambachanti ti varnasan dargurvai varni varanam pitaram pisara he goes to his father father everybody says there is a brahman brahman that class they are written brahman will be taught who is that brahman adihi bhagavo brahmeti please teach me who is that brahman he says baba is that easy to explain what is brahman 
तपसा ब्रह्म विजिज्ञास स्वाम तपो ब्रह्मेति लुकिया इट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी क्लोज टू यू व्हिच यू न्यू या फॉरगॉटन सो व्हाट यू हैव फॉरगॉटन हाउ डू यू ब्रिंग इट टू मेमोरी नाउ आई एम ट्रैवलिंग इन अ बस आई स्लेप्ट ए लिटिल आई एम ट्रैवलिंग फ्रॉम चेन्नई टू पालकाड आई स्लेप्ट वेरी गॉट अप I forgot who I am. What is my name? So I, I do not know. I see a ticket. Ticket is from Chennai to Palakkad. Do I belong to Chennai or do I belong to Palakkad? Am I married? Where is my thing? What am I doing? Am I employed? Am I retired? What is my name? You know nothing. So what will you do? Nobody knows that the bus. so you are going thinking thinking deeply tapasya means thinking concentratedly on that one point ekagrachitena so that is gone so you begin to think think so you go and do tapasya think on that issue my lord who is that brahman go on thinking he reveals himself to you damnas vena sadanir takokam he only can show himself to you nobody else can show you then he asked supposing that brahman comes before me and says i am brahman he will not have any identity god so how do you know he is brahman he says eto va jivani bhutani jayante this only the indication from whom this entire world has arisen the entire creation has come from him and because of him these are all being sustained today you are having this world as if the world would have disappeared long back and finally at the time of the mahapralaya all these things go into it except in the final reality called the parabrahman including all the ishwaras including shiva vishnu Vrisha, Santoshi Ma, all go into the pralaya. All the beings they go into the pralaya. It's a very rough idea, but you cannot go beyond. It's anirvachaniya. He is beyond explanation. See, Shankara, who is the founder of the Advaita, he has only told that God cannot be conceived by the mind. You cannot imagine how he is. You cannot talk about him. There is nothing to talk. He is black. He is white. He wears a mala. It is nothing. So how can you talk about nothing? There is nothing to do. A varna na. Varna na comes from varna. Varna means the color. He is black. He is white. So there is what is here. There is nothing. No color. So how can you describe him? He is anirvachaniya. So. <clears throat> it so happened Adi Shankara Charya Shankara Bhagavat Pada who was in Kaladi he went all the way because in those days there were no buses or he went by foot from Kaladi to Kashi to have the darshan of Vishwanatha or when he went he was emotionally he sat down and did meditation for half an hour and then he wrote there itself he composed vishwanath ashtakam after doing that he told god god I have done three aparadhas please shama soma please forgive me what are the three aparadhas she says yatra krita सर्वजताेन्टिडिक्शन So this is the aparadha I have done. I couldn't help it. 
बट ऐ वॉन्टेड टू सी विश्वराता सो यात्रा करता सर्व करता आता थे देन आई केम एंड मेडिटेटेड आई ओनली हैज रिटर्न ही इज बियॉन्ड द माइंड ही इज बियॉन्ड द वर्ड्स ही इज बियॉन्ड द माइंड देन हाउ डू यू वॉन्ट टू कैच हिम बाई सिटिंग इन मेडिटेशन देर इज अगेन ए कॉन्ट्रीडिक्शन देन स्तुतिया नया वाक्पर होता आघता आते एंड यू डू दिस स्तोत्र by this i only told you cannot catch him by words but i am trying to catch him by words and i write vishrata ashtaka the only idea is you cannot say god is only this god is all he has got rupa he she he doesn't have a rupa the light long back we were telling it is a wave which you cannot see but now after ancient has proved it is seen that energy that energy it is a wave when you look at it when you don't look at it it becomes a solid it becomes a matter and then it jumps it jumps a long distance from place to place huge distance that is called the quantum leap in nuclear physics so and then when somebody sings it's a music is a sound energy you catch it in a, your recorder how do you catch it when you see in what form it is all the sound is gone you will find dash you will find a line you will find a comma that is a rupa so everything has got a rupa it is also actually without form so both are there my father is a judge in the high court when he goes there in the early in the morning when he gets up he takes a kacha he sits there and he does rudram chamakam and does he is in a different form he does vibhuti and he has got all these things when he goes to the office he wipes it off he puts a wig he puts a white collar and a black coat and he goes there is his rupa morning one rupa no another rupa then the evening when he goes to play tennis he has got a short he has got a socks all white he goes to play there is another rupa but what is his original rupa when he comes home takes it all away takes his vashti ah oh, what are you that is my father his natural form he remains in that form so similarly the lord's natural form like the energies it is formless but at the same time he is in all forms he has taken your form my form all the ladies forms he has taken the form of all the plants and trees he has taken the form of all the planets he has taken the form of all these buildings he has taken the form of the sand he has taken the form of the worms what is he not he has entered into the entire world he is there everywhere we call him the first name in vishnu satnam is vishwam vishati ti vishwam the one who has entered into the entire world's object every object contains the lord he is called vishwam why the taitiri upanishad says tat srutva he made the srishti tadeva nu pravishati anutra so then he entered into it so he is called vishwam there is a first name by which he is called vishwam vishnu varshan karo he is called the vishwam so like that the janma adya sayatan maya ditaratam then after having entered into all the objects as the upadana karana that is called anvitaha he is in everything because he is made up of gulab jamun is made up of yeah particular say mawa there is some some sort of a, um, a milk product by which it is made there is upadana karana and this wall is made up of bricks there is upadana karana by which it is made so upadana karana means the one by which it is made the kundala which people are wearing and the upadana karna is gold 
it is pure the entire thing is gold then yatarataah he is gone that he only is all the objects and over there is called the god you add all the objects he is god no yatarataah he is also apart from it it has got two meanings apart from it means to make a part or to make a kundalam there has to be one workman who has to do it so he is not part of the part he is apart from the part so that means he is also the instrumental cause he is the he is the instrument through which he is going to do them like that or efficient cause it is called he is called abhinna nimitta upadana karana he is all the things because who does it it cannot become itself a kundala it requires a person so there is other called nimitta karana so he is all there so janma adyase tanmaya ditarata charthesu abhigyam now as he is entered into every object does he not know every object he is inside me he knows me thoroughly what i am thinking what i am talking what i am going to do everything he knows he becomes sarvagya because he is the upadana karana he is inside all of us so he knows every inch of us he knows every inch of everything whether it is zoology botany he is here the creator of them abhigya abhitah jana jiti abhigya he knows everything all around it whatever is say surat to look at god you don't require a torch he himself is shining at all times so what do you mean he is shining so much we don't be see him then the shloka by shankar bhagavat pada in shivananda lahari he says yeko varya bandhava khiti nabho vyaptam tamo mandalam there is only one surya here one sun for the world and when the evening comes when the night comes when the dusk falls from bhumi up to the akasha it is filled up with tamas full of darkness darkness there is no light is all darkness khiti nabho vyaptam tamo mandalam but in spite of it this one sun works hard throughout the night bitwa lochana gocharo bhavatiya in the morning he comes and shines again that one sun is capable of piercing through the entire darkness and he shows himself up and tvam koti surya saptrabha it is written in all this the lot has got a kanti or shobha equal to crores of suns and you are not able to remove it darkness what sort of thing is this either that is wrong when is a good story samaprabha acharya says you are putting the question wrongly you put the question this way that one sun was able to take away the entire darkness of the night this koti surya is not able to remove the darkness of your heart you are in agyana why yes because it is so much so much so much accumulated over so many months that even koti suryas are not sufficient it will take time ma'am it will take time so that is what he says so remember we have got all this but in spite of all these things take the name of the lord continuously it is the cheapest and easiest way that's all you need not spend anything even for doing a puja you have to spend purchase flower purchase here no simply remember him take his name then he brings what is called the adhyasavada of of adi shankara he what he says is God alone is the ultimate truth. Then what about this world? How did it come? He said that was also Brahman only. 
but you by a mistake by a bhranti you are thinking it is the world it is not the world it is again the god how can it be the example is you are coming at night to this ashram somewhere in the entrance you find a long thing and it's raised a little it is doing like this oh my god i could have placed my foot is a snake swami ji swami ji there is a snake he takes a torch and goes it's not a snake it is a rope it is lying there it is only like that it is waving like that and he thought this is a snake this is called adhyasa what is adhyasa atasmin ne tad buddhi it is not a serpent but you consider it is a serpent atasmin ne that which is not you are considered as that it is not a serpent you are considered as as a serpent so that is called the adhyasa so the world is not so because of your darkness you are able to see the world as world with trees with buildings with offices no it is all brahman 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 alone that's all everything is brahman but by a bhranti you are seeing how the bhranti came nobody knows and that is called anirvachaniya khyati you cannot say how it came it has come see night to look long you have fallen into a pit you try to get out of it don't try to find out at that time this pit they have not kept any light has it been made by the pnt has it been made by the electrical department has it been made by the water and drainage department don't make your uh, uh analysis at that time you try to get out night to log log your wife will be waiting so when we have fallen into this world don't try to analyze you try to get out how to get out they have given put the switch the light comes how it comes where the wire goes how it goes to the generator and then it is connected why are you bothered it is an engineer's job you want only your uh, light so this much is sufficient put this light the light comes so that is what is given in bhagavata it tries to explain that explanation is adhyasa but you should know only this much and he says yatrat tasago amsha the entire world when you finally begin to see the lord there is no world when you see the world you are not the god is not there that's so it is there is a proverb in tamil nayakanda kallakano kallakanda nayakano both are not available together so the when you see the dog there is no stone available to beat it when you see the stone there is no dog to beat there is all so both are at different ends so when you thoroughly leave the world you can get the god you cannot leave the world without his grace ಮಾಯಾಗೀತಾಂತರೋಂಟ್ It's all that you described how the because of the darkness you are not able to see God you are seeing only the world everything but how to remove it man you cannot remove it only his grace alone can remove it only with Bhagavan's grace the Lord's grace you can remove your Ajnana Ajnana is not so easy there is a funny story about Ajnana the great ramanuja acharya the founder of the vishta advaita one day he always used to sleep in the temple of shri ram outside suddenly he remembered that evening oh tomorrow is ram navmi tomorrow is the birthday of ram oh my lord in all these years so many birthdays of ram have come i have not given him any gift 
even a small child at home which has a birthday you take something and give it to him and i have not given to the lord what a papi i am so this time for tomorrow i have to give him something but what to give i have to give you a present you have already got two watches if i give another watch what will you do you throw it it is of no use so i cannot give you a thing which you already have what is it bhagwan doesn't have which you can get everything is his find out so it should also be something which you can you have you you say yeah you can give me a diamond bracelet how where will you go for diamond man there's no question so you should have it god should not have it so throat night he was thinking bhagwan what gift to give what is that that he doesn't have it was about 4 o'clock suddenly a flash came in his brain ah got up had his bath put on all the nama on his body he opened the door went and said ram may you live long today i have brought a beautiful gift for you what gift ram i have brought a gift which you don't have which i got in printy my ajnana i am going to give it as a gift to you <laughs> all by ajnana <laughs> so in that way sadam dhamra svena sada nirastakokam how to remove it he can alone do it the lord's alone dhatu prasadan it comes in abhita grantha he also believes only by lord's kripa ishwar kripa you can get him you do any amount of sadhana sit on your head and do tapasya for 1000 years you can't get him only by his grace satyam param dhimahi let us do the dhyan on him here he does not give the solution the entire bhagavata you read at the end the last shloka he has given the solution how to get the grace only you take his name nama sankirtanam yasya sarva pap pranashanam pranamo dukha shamana tam namami harim param lord only you take his nama sankirtan simply you say hare govinda mukunda guruvayurappa chakravane you call him by any name so nama sankirtanam yasya sarva pap pranasham normally we are so many people what papa have you and i done have we killed somebody how many people you are here that who has murdered somebody not a single person what papa have you done there is one papa which all of us have done that papa is to consider this body as me when is a shantananda i remember this body is this beyond this was that and i think he is shantananda no when the bulb dies the electricity doesn't die when the body dies the energy cannot die the thermodynamics law of thermodynamics says energy cannot be created energy cannot be destroyed the total energy of the parashakti is one constant that is infinite the sun so that gives us the solution the easiest solution you can be doing your work you if you are a housewife you can be preparing sambar you can be preparing rasam you can be preparing vegetables take the name that's all shenath hari govind hare murari what take the name hare rama hare rama 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 hare hare whatever you want namah shivaya shivaya namah whatever you want you take the name that itself all the papas will go the lord will be there present he is already there papas are the tamas there is the darkness when the darkness is removed nothing need be done he is already there and you see him revealed in all his glories you will not see him because you become one with him who is to see whom 
the self is seeing the self, the self alone, the Lord alone is, nobody else is. This entire thing was a Brahma. He alone is. It is all his Leela. So, well, this much is about the first shloka of Bhagavata, as I know. So many people know so many things. As I told, my knowledge is little. So I could only tell whatever I know. So with this, I end my recounting the glories of the Lord. Om Kaye Namachaman Sain Tiriva Buddhyatmana Vapakte Subhavad Karomi Yadda Sakaram Parasme Narayana Yeri Samad Payami Narayana Sarve Bhavantu Sikina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhattani Pashyantu Mahakashti Dukavad Bhavet Narayana 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 This you may take as a donation, as my donation to this ashram on this holy day. Puja Gurudev, Swami Jinmayan Pujita, Samadhi Dinati Nandang, Malayar Satsangha Namukha, Bhagavad Kaya Nital, Dibichu, Swami Shandhan Pujita, Trapadangal, Namukha Evarakam Vendi Pranamangal Arpichu Gondu, Adhayati Nodala, Chinmayan Vishande, Nandim, Kripadachayim, Yaga Pudhati Kodudu, Adhayati Nandai Anikrahayati Nandim, Namukha Ella Evarakam Vendi, Nandai Anikraham, Turanam Dhavanai, Anda tidak jono. Kurang lebih jai. Terima kasih.